this Mark's Reviews and Tutorials video. We've got ourselves a fence here, and this video is going to be all about how to build a gate. We've um, got a beautiful picket fence uh, well underway. Have a look, there'll be a link up here to the, the video that I've just made about actually putting this fence in, including putting the posts in, the rails, and the whole lot. Uh, now, we're going to talk about uh, putting in a gate and making a gate. So you'll see on the fence here, the rails that I've used are this 70 by 35 or 70 mil by 35 mil dressed treated pine. Um, and I'm gonna use the same for the frame of the gate. And basically the frame of the gate is going to be a box like that. And it's gonna have a stay on it. And most importantly, the stay is gonna run from this corner up to that corner. I'll show you more once I make the box and um, get it going, but as you'll see why. Now the hinges, you want um, the back, like obviously when you're making a box of timber, either the timber can come in and butt in here and join, or it can come in over the top, or you can cut 45 degree angles on both and make a, a bit of a miter join. What I'm doing, I'm gonna bring the timber in here and then butt join off here. I'll be gluing and screwing through this here. And um, what I do want is that the, the strength of this to be on the upright. So I want it, the hinge to be connecting um, with the vertical here and the same down the bottom. So we're gonna screw this together in a big square and then um, put the cross beam on it, which gives it its strength and then um, put the pickets on to finish Measure off. across for your gate. In my case, I'm going to be doing just a butt like that joint and the same over here. That'll just make the big square frame, put one across the bottom as well. And then when it comes to catching and latching or actually lining up the pickets, um, I'm just going to build this square. Sadly, post move, wooden post particularly. I've um, concreted these in, but it's clay soil and it was quite damp when I concreted them in and they've <coughs> moved a little bit as the clay has dried out. So they're going to do their little thing and move a little bit. That's just to be expected. There's not a lot you can do about that. So we're going to make up a square frame now here and then put the pickets on. And you see when I have, I've got a very precise gap I have to have on this end. So I'm actually going to, put this last picket, that the frame doesn't have to be precise and exact, it can be in a little bit, as long as the um, last picket gets its correct gap. The frame laid out, you want to lay it out somewhere square, um, so that it ends up square both this way and that way. And what we're going to do here, I can actually lay it out square with the line here as well to help me make sure everything's all square. The screws, you'll see here, are even though these are very big long screws, they're not long enough to um, go through the board and going there. So what I'm gonna do is drill a much larger hole in to about this depth, something big enough for the um, screwdriver head to go into so that we can drive that right through to about here. So it'll have to come about a third of the way in um, and that'll then give a really good connection. Screw head in and you see, okay, what size drill am I gonna need to um, have that be able to screw in that little bit further? That's just and that's the guy I'm going to use there. So I'm going to actually going to put a pilot hole through with another drill I've got there, which will go right the way through the timber. And this one, I'm going to drill in just that third of the way so that the head of the screw is going to be much further in and um, get enough binding through to the other the side. The pilot hole drill, I'm going to drill right the way through that, or as far as the drill anyway, I'm happy for it to go the last little bit. And then the thicker one, which is going to um, come in here a third of the way, and then the screwdriver bit you see there, it's longer, so it'll be able to come into the hole made by that and drive the screw right the way in. Drilling the pilot holes to start with. You can see I've got those four done and these two done. By putting the boards together like this, I've only had to measure one hole that bottled the board up and measured the best place for the screws. And then you can just match, drilling through here and here and then get them all the same. Once I've done that, I'll then be drilling the bigger drill down for the third. Now with a drill like this, when you're drilling to a certain depth, you can just get a piece of electrician's tape and um, put it onto the drill so you know when to stop. Down there, just propping it up against the fence. I've got the uh, liquid nails or construction adhesive on here to glue it in place. Then we lift the next one on. And uh, Tip that up, get it all lined up like that, all perfect. And then drive the screws down and we'll have ourselves a all big screw. up all square. Now is the time to put a square on the corner and to lay it down flat to make sure that it's square 
in every direction and then let your glue draw off. But do the squaring up before the glue dries. Obviously, uh, 75 mil, this should have been 100. Um, 10 to 8 gauge here, um, 100 mil, but I just drilled it a little bit and then used the 75s. These are the specialty uh, treated pine screws. They've got that coating on them. Makes them go in really, really nicely when you screw them in and they supposedly don't rust in there in the treated pine. So I've got that, you can see I've got a couple of chairs sitting on the corners just so it sits down nice and flat all the way around, which is what we want. And now I'm gonna cut the stay to go into the gate. Now, if your length by width is all equal, then it'll be exactly 45 degrees, the angles you're cutting here. Mine's not, it's taller than what it is wide. So the angles are a little bit different. So I'm just gonna lay the board down where I want it to be, draw the lines on where I wanna cut it. Now these cuts are gonna be super accurate because if you cut it a bit too small, then the stay is not gonna sit in the corner. And if at all possible, you do want your stay to go in the corner. And then just scribe the lines where it's going to be cut uh, at both ends. And these cuts, you want the saw blade to be the other side of the line, taking that away so that all of this is left. That's cut with all of those funny little angles that we managed to scribe onto there. And that's now ready to um, glue and screw this in here. And then um, hang it. And then put the palings on. Okay, the so there we go. Put the stay in. And you've got yourself even though it's something that's looking like a gate. Obviously that's going to have the pickets added onto it as well. The stay is really, really crucial. All the weight of the gate, let's say the hinge is on, well, the hinge is going to be on this side. All of the weight of the gate is hanging off that one pole and it will tend to sag down like that. And that's why gates sag. If you've got a stay in the corner like this, when that pole wants to go down, in order for it to go down, that has to physically dig into this post and press that one down and it's just not going to happen. So this stay here makes the gate incredibly strong. So if it ever wants to sag, it really, really can't because that isn't gonna go down where it wants to go in order to let it sag. Also, when you're putting your pickets on, if you've got just one screw in the top and one screw in the bottom and that gate wants to sag, it sort of can. The one screw will let it go down and all of the pickets will go down in line. If you've got two screws there, um, and two screws there, again, it's not gonna let that board twist because the two screws are gonna hold it in place. So double screwing your pickets also will stop the um, sag going on with the gate because just the double screwing is saying, no, you're staying here at this height, you're staying here. In order for it to sag, it would have to twist. That's not gonna happen as well. So that's another way of helping it out. But uh, there you go, gate frame. Very simple, knock it up yourself. We can now screw the pickets on the same as what we did on the fence and you got yourself a good strong gate. I've used the same timber, the 70 by 35 finished tree. Gate the gate is some um, swinging. I fitted the latch. Mine had to be self-closing, self-latching. I chisel out a little slot in the post so that I get the gate closing exactly where I want it. I'm gonna have it nice and flush right across the front. Um, obviously it just needs the uh, pickets put on, but uh, you see now she's swinging really really well and closing so i'm back on this job and just finishing off the gate now it's beautifully in position you can see when i've um, done this in order to um, get everything spacious so you can't see the gate and also for the pull regs i can only have a 13 mil gap i've actually put the first board on where the gap's going to be um, so that you actually can't pick the gate in the fence line be able to see it by the little gap in the rail and then the vertical piece through there that's about it but um, what i wanted to show you i've got one of the framing timbers just sitting up on top and that's making it really really easy to um, put the pickets all and get them all perfectly straight in line um, i've got my spacing board here as you can see and so i'm just putting the spacing board in lifting this until it's up i've got my holes pre-drilled with the screws ready to go you see there's the next board going on there holes are drilled screws are in place and then it's just a matter of getting this right and holding this in tight put in one screw then I actually pull that out and um, use the board just slotted through this way push it tight and then check the level with my spirit level and then screw it up when she's right but I'm, I'm ripping through these really quick by myself um, having the big board up the top make sure it doesn't drop on your head but having that there makes it really easy you just lift the board up to place drill it in and I've um, got myself a master over here again with the holes. 
So I'm just drilling through this board into the others. So again, you get that look with all these screws lining up, everything being nice and straight.